Book Kids Church. Hope you're having fun with your family. But today's a very special day. It's Father's Day. We have so many amazing dads at City Impact Church. So many of our dads really work hard to make sure that we have all that we need so that we're healthy, strong, and safe. We just want to say thank you. Hi, girls. Hi, Hi Grandpa. How are you doing? Hey. Oh, we love you, Grandpa. Thank you. <laughs> we're just quickly talking to the kids, so we'll see you okay. later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Sometimes Father's Day can be a really tough day. If maybe your dad doesn't live with you anymore or he's no longer here. But the awesome thing is, is that we get to be a part of such an amazing church that has so many cool father figures. I am so inspired by so many of our church dads here. Like uncles, maybe your friend's dad or grandpa's. But the most important thing is that we all have a heavenly father. God is the most wonderful father ever. Let's all pray. Dear God, thank you for all our amazing dads. We thank you that you gave them to us as a blessing. We pray for strength and wisdom over them today as we celebrate them. I thank you that you are the most amazing Heavenly Father and that we feel so loved with you. And we pray for all the other uncles, dads, grandfathers, that are fatherly figures in our life. I pray that you bless them too. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much, kids. So great talking to you. See you later, bye. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It's a very, very important assignment ahead of us. We are, in fact, recording for the kids online. So we are going to showcase what dadhood is all about. If you could choose any superpower, what would that superpower be? Wisdom, so that I could be a better dad for my kids and actually you know, show them great ways of, of, of being um, living their lives and visibility, because then I can sneak around and see what my kids are doing, so that later on I can remind them on how awesome they are and that I've seen the great things they were doing and bring it back to them. I'd like to be like Superman and be able to fly with my cape on. If my daughter's out on a date somewhere and someone's like, you know, having, doing the old cheeky, cheeky uh, tricks on her and I could just be able to, yeah, I sense it and I'm like, shoom, I'm over there. Wait, what are you doing? I'd like to be able to mess with time. If I could time travel, it means I could always be right. Finish this dad sentence. When I was your age, I... I washed dishes already. <laughs> when I was your age, I was already milking all of the cows and having to walk to school. And uphill both ways. To keep my feet warm, I had to stand in cow pads. Jump that's, why I'm so, that's why I'm so tall. When I was their age, I tell them that I had to work five days for 10 cents. Nowadays, they want to work for 10 minutes for five bucks. What's going on? Do you pick your nose trying to pretend that no one sees you? I will actually go one for you that Cyrus did. He actually had a really big bogey and <laughs> put in the... <laughs> he wrapped it in the, um, in the tissue paper and put it under the pillow and trying to pick the tooth fairy to give him a coin. <laughs> Father's Day has sprung around I better think of something now That I can do to help him with his day Suggest to him a book to read Or pour for him a cup of tea Whatever I can do to help him any way I can I'll wake him from his sleepy rest And tell him that he is the best A chocolate cake to show him that I care It fills my heart and makes me glad To celebrate my patient dad Maybe you can do the same And celebrate your dad And find ways to show him that you care Hey kitties! Yeah? Something very exciting has come for Daddy in the mail for Father's Day. It's just outside. Should we go have a look what it is? Yes. What is it? Let's put it down over here. What is it? Dad, it's a bookcase. Can we put it together? Yeah, Dad, let's do it together. Yeah, guys. Let's do it. 
Dad, do we need these instructions? No, 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 mate, no. Give them to me. Don't be crazy. We're not gonna need instructions, buddy. I've got the instructions in here. Stop being selfish. Um, you know what? They're not just in here. The instructions are in here. Daddy. Let's get into it. Mm, that's quite quick. Whoa. Now so we got in here. It's a bit weird. Oh, I'll leave it. What is this? <sighs> <laughs> that's a toilet brush, I think. Is there anything else in there? Yeah, it feels like there is. <laughs> Dyson. Dyson stuff, that's more of a Mother's Day sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. What's that? Oh, wait a minute, what's this? <laughs> this <laughs> is very important. I will hold on to this. That's a real good Father's Day treat. All right, I think that's everything. Let's, uh, let's build it. It's not very complicated, is it? Mm. Anyone could do this, even a mum. Even a mum could do this. Oop. That was it last time. Just broke it. <laughs> Top, right? We don't we don't need instructions for this sort of sort of thing. Right. Look at that. Oh, oh. High five! High five! Ah. High five! A few moments later. Uh, I don't think that's the right one, Harriet. Can I try your one, Millie? No, 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 that is the right one. No, I want to try your one, thank you. You just said that. I know, but listen, I need to try the. I need to do this one, alright? What that's are we doing with this? No. Too flat? What does that even mean? It's it just that's fine. Right, because it's all. Really missing those instructions right now. <laughs> Do you want me to go get them? Okay. Dad, the rubbish bin's empty. Go check if the rubbish truck has come. Quick, 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 quick. Dad, the rubbish, the rubbish truck's gone, which means our instructions are gone. You know what, guys? It's fine. You guys go play. Daddy's going to take care of this, all right? Okay. Off you go. Good job. I'll do the rest of it. All right, you're good? Yeah, let's shouldn't go. Have, shouldn't have thrown those instructions away, should we, Ollie? What is the funniest thing you remember doing as a kid? So, um, I thought that I um, could be good at um, building myself a set of stilts and uh, getting getting on top of those. So, as my confidence grew, the height grew, and uh, when I thought that I was really, really good, then uh, I ran back home, got some belts, strapped it to my legs, and then, uh, of course, you know what happened next that uh, your legs don't move that quickly. So I just went <laughs> face blown. <laughs> well, this is, uh, my, my dad wasn't too happy with what I thought it was hilarious. So what happened was, was that we'd been growing um, jalapeno hot peppers, like the ones that look like beans at yep. school. And what happened was, was that dad was water blasting on the roof and dad already likes hot and spicy stuff, but he had no idea that this was like, the hottest one he'd ever come across and he just thought it was a bean so i handed it up to him on the roof and he put the whole thing in his mouth and started chewing it the look on his face he started out and he was like oh no what is this oh no what is this and he'd already chewed and swallowed so he couldn't even spit it out so uh he was his eyes were watering he was he nearly fell off the roof which was probably pretty funny for a kid to see that as well and for the next half an hour, he was just at the tap drinking as much water as he could. I thought that was hilarious. 
you know, me and my brother, you know, obviously we're like a, a battery and a torch together, me and my brother. And, uh, you know, we rolled in mud and then basically went and stood against what we had a white house. And we basically made all these prints of us standing against that house and then moved back and then see, and my parents have still got this picture in the house of, of all these little men standing on the wall. But basically, you know, and, you know for everybody that knows, when you have red, red sand, which creates a, a pigment that actually colors the walls. So basically we had, couldn't get the walls clean, but you had all these little stick men standing on the wall. <laughs> We're making this for Father's Day. Yeah. We're making the ultimate yeah. place for our dad. This is the best couch. We're going to make it even better. But no. We have some fun stuff for you. <laughs> Umbrellas, popcorn, and the extra bowl. We have some marshmallows and some original Oreos and some jelly. We're going to show you some fun stuff to do. Yes. So, step one, we get some marshmallows. Yes. Or the extra bowl. Yes. And then, we're going to get some little marshmallows. Yes. And some put them in the jelly. And we put them in. We're going to make some, look, there, so that's enough, So, and then we're going to pour this, the rest, into the popcorn bowl. Then we're going to get our hands, get them nice and dirty, like that, so not stop. Now, we're going to get the Oreo bowl. Actually, we're going to get this. Yeah. Want to put it on the jelly? Yeah. Put that in there. Get that. Yeah. Now we're going to put one Oreo here on the side. Yeah. Then we're going to fill the rest. In the And then we we're going to put another stop. We're just going to put them like that. Oh, one more. I can eat this. <laughs> Bye, kids. Bye, kids. What do you do that your kids say embarrasses them the most? Now, this could be uh, anything, but the one thing that your kids say embarrasses them the most. Yeah, so this is a bit of a confession Yeah, So my boys love to dance and sing, but yes. um, you know, ob obviously when dad sings uh, Frozen and dances to it, <laughs> they, 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 they absolutely try and hide away and run away. So yeah, that works well. Apparently, sometimes I will be sitting on the couch and then my kids say, what's that smell? And <laughs> 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 yeah, we just play each other. <laughs> <laughs> what the best piece of dad advice that your dad ever gave you was? For us, um, we were always getting to an argument with dad about something that we think is old school on or something that, you know, times have changed and that you always used to tell us, we'll talk again when you have your own kids. And uh, man, I've told that to my kids so many times already. <laughs> I think the, the best piece of advice that he's, he's ever given me is that you have, you have to give everything a go. And, you know, when you feel that nervousness in, in you and you, 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 you're not sure if you should step outside of that comfort zone, just do it. 
don't don't hold back because that moment will pass and you'll miss opportunities in life. And I, I, every time something like that happens to me, I always think of my dad saying that and really appreciate that he, he pushed me further than I thought I could go because of that. Got two pieces of advice. Right, the first one, always listen to your dad. I like that one. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> and the second one is um, go always have a plan for you. Yeah. You do. That. Yeah. Think before you speak and um, think about the effect that your words might um, might have. Don't let them, your emotions get the better of you. Um, you could be the difference in that that person's life if they've if they've been having a bad day or a bad run. It's almost like time time with what AJ said is give everything a go. Like there's 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 no better way to do something than to just go for it. And if it's worth doing, it's worth giving it your all and going for it 100% yeah. of the time. I love that. Hi kids. Who knows that dads? Well, they're not perfect. Sometimes they don't get things right. I have a pretty awesome dad. Thanks, Dad. He's pretty awesome, but not compared to my Heavenly Father. In fact, I know he relies on his Heavenly Father to help him do his job too. Absolutely. Did you know that no matter who you are, where you are, or even what you've done, you have an incredible Heavenly Father. And he's amazing, further than your wildest imaginations. He knows every detail about your life, and he really, really loves you. And it's easy to get to know your Heavenly Father because all you have to do is pray. What's praying? Praying is just another word for talking with God, and it's easy. You can start with something like, Dear God, I know you know everything about me, and I want to get to know you too. You could maybe tell him about something you're worried about, or ask him to help him with your schoolwork. <laughs> That's what I do. He holds the whole universe in his hands, but he never, ever is too busy to talk with you. You may not see him, but he is always with you. So why don't you try talking with him today? All right, guys. So I realize that uh, we're talking to some beautiful, beautiful kids and not all of them have mum and dad at home. And so for those who don't have dad at home, what's your best piece of dad advice for those kids? I, I grew up without dad in the, in the picture. Um, like you were saying about um, God as uh, Heavenly Father. So that was that was a big struggle for me to um, comprehend that. But over time, as I, as I stuck at it, um, it became obvious that, um, uh, you know, looking to God as my Heavenly Father, he, he, pro he was always there. He would always help me. Uh, he, he had, he got my back. Um, he would always provide when I needed, when it was uh, when I was in need, um, and he would always protect me and Mum and our other um, family that was in the household back in the growing up. So use Mum and look to God as uh, your heavenly Father. He will never let you down. He will always be there. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I guarantee that, and I tell you, and I've experienced that one hundred percent. And he's still with me up yeah. to today. He's still with me. So, um, yeah, God's got you. Your Heavenly Father's got you. Yeah. I think it's really important for us to know, even when we have dads, we don't have perfect dads, but God is a perfect father. And a perfect father always gives good gifts. He doesn't give bad gifts. And he's always present, as Flau has said before. You know, God's, he's always there. So I guess my advice to anyone who doesn't have a dad present or does have a dad, your Heavenly Father is always going to be there. He's always going to be present. He's he's always going to be approachable. And he's always going to give you something good when you go to him. Well, Dad, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. You are all superheroes in my book. And I just want to say thank you so much for what you shared with the kids today. It is pretty awesome. And kids, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Um, understand that God is your heavenly father. He loves you to bits. He's got the best things in store for you. You've got an adventure ahead of you. It's called life. Live it to the max and you enjoy every single moment of it. See you later. One eternity later.
much, much, much later. The next day. Hey guys, it's Father's Day. Good morning. Wake up. I finally finished the bookshelf. Do you want to come see it? Yeah. Yes. Come, 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 come. Wow. Whoa. That's, That's stable. Stable. so cool. And stable. That's perfect. Dad, Dad, can I put my Bible on? Yeah, put it on. She's sturdy as a rock, that one. Oh. <laughs> Let's give a cheer to all our dads. Yay, he finally got it in the end. And remember, if you don't have a dad nearby, we all have a Heavenly Father who loves us so much. He's closer than we know. And feel free to contact him, say hi. I mean, talk to him, that's what prayer is, right? Well, happy Father's Day to all our dads. We love you heaps, and remember, we've always got a Heavenly Father looking out for us. See you later, bye. Here we